welcome back to our channel and thank you for watching. Today we are here doing a 1k giveaway because we hit 1,000 subbies. I thought we were gonna say subscribe. So say subbies. <laughs> Today we're here to do our 1k giveaway video because we hit 1,000 subbies. <laughs> I'm done with you. I'm done. We're gonna do subscribers. Subscribers. Today we're gonna do our 1k giveaway video because we hit 1,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. We appreciate all of you guys. The rules for this giveaway is you must be subscribed to our YouTube channel, Locks and Lashes, number one. Number two, you must follow us on IG. And number three, you must tag one friend only on our giveaway post on Instagram. Pretty simple, right? Yeah, pretty simple. You don't need to repost anything. No Just reposting, no following, no sharing, nothing like that. Just tag one friend for 1K subbies. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you what I'm gonna give away and then we'll go into Chelsea's. So first off, I have the one and only, the one inch hot tools curling iron. You guys always see me talking about and you guys always say you, you want never it. shut up about This is all I use. You guys know that my holy girl is what I use every day in the salon. Favorite working spray, the Kenred number 13. Um, this is what I use in my salon also on my back bar. Henry Platinum Dry Texturizing Spray. This is what me and Chelsea both use, actually. And my favorite firm holding hairspray, Big Sexy Spray and Play Harder. And my favorite rat tail teasing combs. Thank you. Oh, there's get, like eight. In you there. get 12. Oh. 12 of my favorite combs. Mm -hmm. And then my favorite clips that I use to like pin my hair in sections as I go or if I want to pin them and let them set. So, yeah, that is six things. Mm hmm. Six things away on my end. I'm gonna give away a bundle from Impressions Vanity Company. So first thing out of the bundle is the Glow Me Selfie Light. This is an attachment for your phone. How it's just a cute that? little ring light. Like it's like an actual ring light that goes on your phone. So yeah, it's doesn't... like one of these, <laughs> except for your phone. Yeah, it's, it's pretty very awesome. small. So the Glow Me ring light, and then and then I'm gonna give away this acrylic. Uh, organize. Makeup organizer. It rotates. It spins. Let's show them that lipstick set in it. Okay, it's got a little drawer that holds, you know, whatever you want. And your brushes can go And these inside. are all lipstick holders. How cute is that? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. And then there's a dish up here that'll hold stuff, and then the sides can hold brushes. Yeah. Oh, look, and you can put compact powders in here. Oh, I'm gonna order one of these. <laughs> I think I want the bundle. <laughs> The I'm gonna keep this actually. So anyway, here's the organizer. Up next. And then we have the impressions. Okay. We have the travel mirror. I mean, you can put, keep it on your vanity. It's just the one that has the lights all the way around it. And it and just takes can, the battery. You don't even have to plug it in, so you don't need an outlet for it. It doesn't put it like anywhere. have the button either. You just put your fingerprint on it and it oh, okay. pop yeah. on. Yeah. So we'll try. The stand goes on it, but I'm really afraid to put it on there because I have to break this down to mail it. So I don't want to like break it taking it yeah. off because that's just what I do. I break everything I touch. <laughs> yeah. So you get the mirror, the selfie ring light, and, and the acrylic, the acrylic organizer. Which is really cool. It's awesome. I want it myself. I know. Now I want it. Too. So this giveaway is our last giveaway we're going to be doing until we hit 5,000 subscribers. We're really which hopefully excited. won't be too far away. I know. We've hit I'm sure we have a while, days. but. Yeah. Um, there. So I guess we'll continue on the videos or question and answer. We um, asked you guys for some questions on Facebook earlier and we'll jump right into that. Yeah. You ready? My first question is what are my top three favorite hair products? Okay. And my top three favorite hair products. I do not wash my hair without leave-in conditioner. My number one leave-in conditioner is Moisture Kick by Schwarzkopf. That's what I love and use every day. Well, every five days when I wash my hair. <laughs> and then, she doesn't wash her hair. <laughs> no, my texturizing spray from Kendra, which is in my giveaway, and my big sexy spray and play harder, which is also in my giveaway. It's my top three favorite hair products. Chelsea, how did you get started with makeup? How did you get so good? <laughs> I don't really know when I got interested like in wanting to do makeup on other people. But my mom started buying me like high end makeup when I was like thirteen or fourteen. Like I remember really? I got two face palettes for Christmas one year. Yeah. And an Urban Decay palette. And I just thought the packaging was just like the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. And I actually just got rid of them like last year. Really? Like I kept them forever because they were my what first. What were they? One had a pop up. Like it was the Urban Decay one. It popped up and it had like the th the I don't know like the pop up paper things. It was like paper butterflies oh, yeah, that yeah. came out or something. I can't remember what it was called. But anyways, and then whenever I started beauty school, because I was I thought I wanted to be a hairdresser. When I got in there, I realized that I didn't really like to do hair that much. So I just kind of stuck to makeup and just kept working with that. Then I just sort of started like freelancing on the side and taking what I could get and just practicing a lot. And then I just really ended up loving it. So, so here we are, locks and lashes. Here I am. Here we are. We. <laughs> no, here I am. Here we are. <laughs> here I am. Here we are, locks here and I lashes. <laughs> locks. Lashes. 
Okay, this is for both of us. Favorite Disney movie and why? What a fun question. Okay, my favorite Disney movie is Tangled. It's like the more modern version, I think, of Rapunzel. Um, she thinks she is Tangled. I am Tangled. She thinks she's her. That's why I she likes am. it. I am. Like, I The movie was made after her. Okay, I love that movie. Um, why do I love it? I guess because it's about hair. I don't know. <laughs> I love it. I think it's so cute and I think she's so cute and I love all the songs in it and sing us one, honey, if you love it so much. Mm, I can't. Okay, not warmed up. No, and I think it is really sweet, this uh, the love sister. Um, right. okay, shut up. So my favorite one. I'm dead, I'm going home. My favorite Disney movie is definitely hundred percent Beauty and the Beast. Just because I was She's the beast, I'm the beauty. <laughs> I loved Beauty and the Beast when I was little. I would wake up every morning and I would say, Beast, 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 because I just Aww. wanted to watch Beauty and the Beast. And my dad actually watched it with me every single morning because he's a trooper. And, <laughs> like, I want to cry when I think about the movie that comes to theaters next month. Like, I can't. I can't wait to go watch it. Like, I can't deal with how excited I am. I'm going to go watch it five Are times. Are you dying? Yeah. Oh, God. If you could only use one foundation for five years, what would it be? For both? This question <laughs> makes me want to hyperventilate. So, my... You could use one foundation for five years. Probably MAC, right? I'd probably use MAC Pro Longwear. It's just what I always go to, so I think I'm going to go with MAC Pro Longwear. If I could use one foundation for five more years, I would say Marc Jacobs. Total covers that were just Marc Jacobs. Remarkable. Bye. Total she don't even know <laughs> the name of it. I had it. to tell her what she would use for five years, so why not? Because <laughs> if money were no object at all, what would be the first five makeup items you'd purchase and why? Okay, okay. all five of mine would be Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundations. <laughs> <laughs> I really want the Bobbi Brown Foundation Palette for, like, my kit. When it's like three hundred dollars, or it's two hundred fifty dollars. Okay, so I just kind of not really want something I want to spend. I would like on. the Chanel something so like bronzer that's like in that little compact. It's like really big though, but it's like eighty bucks. Yeah, it's like a cream to powder, but they use that. And um, what else would you get? Honestly, I would probably more splurge on like skincare. Right. Yeah. Because there's some that's there. up there. Yeah. That you just I would, don't really I would buy, buy but the, you know they're gonna be good. Yeah, I would buy the Glam Glow Mud Matter, yeah. like all the different colors, like just because they're like eighty bucks a piece. Yeah, and I would like to have some of that. I'd probably buy like an entire lipstick collection from some company. You know how like Kat Von D has like every yeah, liquid or like all the buy lipsticks or whatever. Yeah, probably yeah. something. That like would that. be cool. All right, the next one too. That question was also if money were a huge factor and you only had twenty dollars to spend, you're starting from scratch on hand. What would you spend your twenty dollars on? First, I'm gonna say I'm gonna hit up Elf. I'm gonna hit up Elf online where it's fifty percent off because I'm gonna get that dollar stuff for fifty cents. <laughs> I'm gonna get my foundation brush, my eyeshadow brushes, my foundation all from Elf. Cause you would have to. You could not finish your makeup if you bought. No, I know. Cause you couldn't buy an eyeshadow palette. You couldn't buy freaking eyeshadow at Walmart to save bucks. And you're not gonna just do eyeshadow and not want to do anything else. Right? How are you gonna get lashes? Elf's got dollar lashes. <laughs> Elf's got. Copy Keisha's answer because this Elf. question stresses Elf. me out. Elf. I would just do Elf too. Okay. Okay. Will you ever work in a beauty salon? Mm -hmm. I did work in a beauty salon. I worked in a shop for over a year, I think, after I finished beauty school. It was a long time ago. It was like five years ago. I just never really like felt comfortable. Like I wasn't really ever confident in doing it. So when I moved, it took me forever to get my license transferred over to West Virginia just because I kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. Like I literally didn't do it for like three years. So I just completely completely lost interest in doing hair and I was already doing makeup a lot by that point so I was just like screw yeah. it I'm not doing it anymore and now she, <laughs> do anything. Yeah. And now and she just does my hair so and I don't now care. she don't have to do anything so. so why did you guys start YouTube actually we had our own separate channels before this main channel she had her channel obviously for makeup mine was kind of more like clothing hauls my halo demos like stuff like that we each had like 230 subscribers a piece on our channels. We've been talking about it for a while. Yeah, we thought we talked about it before I even moved yeah, home. Yeah, we thought when you move home, we're going to do a channel probably together. We picked, ended up picking her channel to go with. I think she had more profile views or something. We picked her yeah, channel. Yeah, our subscribers were so close, but I think I had more views, total profile right. views, so we were just like. Yeah, so we just like made we'll her just go channel with that our channel. channel. Oh. We see each other every day, just about anyway, so we thought, why not do our YouTube channel together? What are all of your tattoo meanings, and do you want any more? Let's see, I'll go in order. My first tattoo is this one, and this is my wedding date in Roman numerals. Helps me remember when I got married, because I never remember what year I got married, okay. ever. My second one was this, which is my maiden name in Arabic, because I'm Lebanese. My third one was this, which is just some pretty design that I liked right here. And then the flowers are my birth flower, my son's birth flower, my husband's birth flower. And then my fourth one was this one, which is my most... Recent, I just got this like two weeks ago. This was just sort of for me. I just liked it because, you know, it flashes and 
and I didn't get it for locks and, and lashes. And people think it's for locks and lashes. It's really not. not for people think I'm like really like Seriously. into this channel. Yeah. <laughs> Which I am, yeah. but not that much. Not like he's going to get a tattoo. <laughs> yeah. Do you and Cody plan to have more babies? So yeah. we had Lane almost one year ago, and I was ready to like just. Boom, boom, boom. Just have more babies. What did he? When he was like, remember when he was like three months old? Remember oh, the 4th of July? Yeah. I was like, I'm ready for another one. And I he was, was like, I'm old. born to take my life. Kind of the older he got, the more I was like, well, I think I'm going to wait a little while. Yeah. But we definitely, definitely, definitely want more kids. Like, I just know that I'm not finished. Like, there's more babies in my future. Wow. Like, there just is. I have to be pregnant again, so. Wow. Because I love it. I'm not, I'm not mean and hate kids like you. I don't, but I <laughs> love silence. Silence is I know. Good. One of my questions was in my DM, and it was what made me decide to do hair. You're a quick bouncer. Probably me. from me seeing me on MySpace and like really loving my hair. <laughs> no. This is not oh, it at okay. all. I was wrong. Sorry. We'll go. <laughs> Spit it out. <laughs> Nothing to do with hair. It goes from jail. <laughs> Don't. Okay, anyway, um, oh, I don't know. I tell everybody all the time that I've always wanted to do hair. Like, I've been doing prom I'm hair since I was a dresser. sophomore in high school. I've been I'm doing prom hair that long. Very illegal. <laughs> <laughs> now, I wasn't charging for it, but I was just doing I prom hair. Showing. I don't know. I just went to beauty school and just kind of took off, and I've been doing hair since I was 19 years old, so. Happy for you. Yeah. This is my life. Happy for you. She we don't have a life. Happy for you. Lashes, that's a hole. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? Why can't you come over? I'm like, I'm at work. She's like, why do you have a life? And I'm like, well, if I want to be your friend for I'm one, I've got to work really hard. I'm so mad that you have I can't to do. keep hanging out with you if I don't work. Like, I have to work really hard to be your friend. That makes me sound like it's such a what advice would you give a first time mom? Just don't forget about your husband. Yeah, I think that's good. Like, you really need to focus on him as well. And keep working on your relationship with him. Make sure you guys have date nights. A lot of people will have a baby and then they just kind of like, they don't think that their husbands, they also need alone time from the baby that were just with you. Like, they need that too. And you need it. When you get out, if you have a babysitter and you get out, you're like, <sighs> like, I really did need this. So definitely make time for yourself. Make time for your husband. Go on dates. Go to the movies. Make time for your friends. Make time for your friends, Maybe. for sure. <laughs> yeah. Stay fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just don't forget about yourself. Keisha, what would you recommend for hair loss and how can I grow my hair out? Me and Chelsea was talking about this earlier. First off, it's according to why you're losing your hair. Did you just have a baby? Do you have a bad thyroid? What medications are you on? Did you try a new medication? Should you off medication? Are you dieting? There's many things that contribute to why you're losing your hair. And the key is to find out what made you start losing your hair. Yeah, and but there's no just like straight I'm, answer. Yeah, like, yeah, as a hairdresser, I'm, I can't, I'm not a doctor. I can't fix that. I, I don't know why your hair's falling out. But there's many things that contribute to your hair loss. If you have a baby, uh, you're going to lose a lot of hair. Especially if you're not taking your vitamins and your breastfeed. Yeah, girls. I lost it all up here. Chelsea has been through the ringer. Now, many of my clients have. So my hair was like to here. I can't. When I even, first had yeah. lanes. And then all the way up in here. But then she told me that she's been breastfeeding and wasn't taking her vitamins. So See therefore, all this. Whoa. He's been taking all of her vitamins and stuff and she's not having any. And I wasn't any. making up for it at all. So. And I didn't know that. I noticed a huge, huge difference after I started back on my multivitamin and fish oil supplements that my hair started growing back in thicker. This is taken off. This is growing a yeah, lot. Yeah, it has. I mean, guys, it was this long. There, you know, there's not <laughs> anything as far as like really hair products you can do. I mean, Nioxin is great for thinning hair, but as far as hair loss for your hair not to continue falling out, you're going to have to figure out what's going on first with what with yourself. How did you and Cody meet? Okay, so we met when I was 19. I was working at Applebee's. It was when I was in beauty school and he was like second year med school, about to start his third. He would come into Applebee's and I have a friend, hi Jamie, who I worked with and you know, we just thought that Cody was like Dr. Dreamy like yeah. we just thought he was it the stuff and so he cute. would joke when he came in that my husband was at Applebee's your husband's here your husband's here and he texted me when I wasn't working because we just like went on and on about Cody I never knew his name or anything so he added me on Facebook and I again I didn't know his name when I saw it like Cody Reynolds I'm like who is that nobody I hit accept and Jamie called me and he was like oh my god do you know who you just added he said you added your husband and then, like, probably that night, I think Cody started messaging me, and I was not messaging him back. I was, like, straight up ignoring him, like, you have to work I'm together dead. with me. But he just kept going and going, and he sent me a message, and he said, listen, if this is ever going to work out, you need to message me back. 
I had never talked to him before, and I was like, Are you kidding me? I was like, well, this guy's kind of funny. So I did message him back, and we ended up talking, and then, like, literally, I don't remember anything else after that, except that he was my little baby. <laughs> I'm dead. So I seen a question on Chelsea saying, Keisha, what would you be doing if you wasn't a hairdresser? I have absolutely no clue. Living on the streets. <laughs> living on the streets. Living with Chelsea. I, I don't know. What do you oh think I would be doing? What would I do? I know. I know. Keisha would just be poor. I would be poor for sure because yeah. I hear something like I'm good at. How did the two of us meet? How did we meet? We met because uh, she was I <laughs> a couple years ago. I remember Cameron, Cody's brother, said, I'm, ta I'm messaging Keisha, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, right. She's never going to get <laughs> with you. No, but I, I said, did remember that because I went messaging you back. Yeah, and you would text like, me yeah, and be like, she, are you talking to Cameron? I'd be like, no. <laughs> so they started talking and then when they started dating, we obviously were hanging out together. So we just became really good friends. And um, that's it. The rest is history. I've loved Chelsea since the day I saw her. <laughs> I knew she was going to be my best friend forever. When she saw me working at the coffee corner. Yeah, near my best friend. <laughs> Okay, how does she get her hair to hold curl? How do you get your hair to hold curl? Well, first, somebody asked me the other day, and I told them, if your hair's, like, really heavy, but maybe even thin in texture, if your hair's heavy, for one, any kind of hair you want to hold curl has to have layers. I don't know that many Chelsea have a hair on our head the same length. Our hair is layered up, um, short layers, long layers, I can put her face. Many layers I can get, I want. You have to have tons and tons of layers, yeah. no matter what, how long your hair is. Don't wash your hair every day and try to get the curls, not gonna happen. Lots of dry shampoo, texturizing spray, many of these things can contribute to making your hair hold curl even if it don't. And, obviously, a one inch hot tools. <laughs> ding ding! <laughs> Hopefully you win! Do you know a good self tanner to use? Whenever I self tan, I always use the brand Fake Bake just because I think it's great. I think the tan is really natural and I love that it has a really dark color guide. So you can see, like, as soon as you put it on, it's really dark and you can see where it's going on. Yeah. It's like a gel and it comes with a mitt, which is awesome. It's like a thumbless oven mitt. I put it on at night and then sleep in it and then rinse it off the next day. Um, somebody asked me what was my favorite Kat Von D, Jeffree Star, and ABH products. Kat Von D, obviously my tattoo liner in Trooper. Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks and ABH products, probably her eyeshadow palette. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. How do, what can I use for my oily hair? I have to wash it every day. Dry shampoo doesn't help. Okay, so here's your problem. You're washing your hair every day. <laughs> <laughs> Done. <laughs> Your hair's going to do what you allow it to do. So if you wash it every day, you're allowing it to make itself oily every day. And you're going to push it a little bit. Go over two days without washing your hair. It's going to learn to get less oily because the oil is going to build up. Then you're going to go over three days. And it's going to suck because your hair is going to be oily for a little bit. You're, you got to train your hair. Your body is going to produce what it's like. Yes. So if you're washing the oil away from your head. Every day. It's going to produce more. Every day. To Make up for that oil that is being stripped. And you said dry shampoo didn't really work for you, um, unless you want to put it in a ponytail. Do it. Put it in a ponytail for three days if you got to. <laughs> Bust it out. Do it once you get over that hump. Yes. You're fine. Yes. Okay, y'all always do these full faces of makeup. That would take me hours. What is the quickest, easiest, cheapest makeup routine? This is my everyday makeup that I do every day. Is I put on a BB cream my beauty blender. Put it on. Blend it out. Therefore, you don't have a heavy, heavy coverage. It don't look like you're going for a heavy coverage. You got like a tint to you. Take concealer underneath my eyes, blend it out. Use a translucent powder on top of that, bronze up my cheeks, put on um, blush, mascara, and fill in my brows and I'm ready to go. That's what I do every day. That's yeah. no highlight, that's no baking, that's no liner, no eyeshadow. You're literally setting your face, but you're doing it, you're keeping it with dimension by using concealer, bronzing your cheeks up, and then, you know, that kind of thing. What would you say? What's your like? My is? going to Walmart makeup. Yeah. I will get my a concealer that matches my skin tone, not any lighter. So I take out my finger and I just spot conceal. I put it on any dark spots I have to cover up or underneath my eye. I don't go in with any two to three shades lighter of concealer under my eye because then you just look freaky if you don't, you know, finish it with the rest of your face. So mm -hmm. I fill in my brows with a, just a pencil. I don't do any dip brow because I don't, I don't want to carve them out. I don't want to sculpt them with concealer or anything. I bronze a little bit and I put my mascara on and that is literally it yeah so that's pretty much all that I do for my going to Walmart makeup well this I don't put makeup on every day like this no oh, way no effing way I'm, I just wake up and I'm like oh I have my lashes on. like I'm gonna put my lashes on like oh, I don't not for around my house I don't, house, I don't. no I do sir <laughs> not for Grey's Anatomy <laughs> you're a big face you're I put funny. it on for my Dr. McDreamy <laughs> Yeah. I'm done. McSteamy. I need a McSteamy. <laughs> okay, right. we have to go because my camera keeps overheating and it's like just yeah, get on my nerves. If we didn't get to every question, we like to do a Q Q and A maybe. Yeah, a we like thousand. to do these though. So. Yeah.
But thank you guys for watching. Make sure you follow all the rules to enter our giveaway. We're so excited to do this for you guys. And thank you for 1,000 subscribers. And we're so excited. The, the giveaway is cut off April 1st. Yeah. It'll be announced around that but date. Not, right. Because really? we need a little while to go through everything. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. See you next time on Locks and Lashes. Bye, Bye guys.